pommel work. Now the pommel is the very end of the sword. This is the back end, the butt end, if you will, of, of the handle. Um, for pommel work, uh, we're not trying to aim for it. We want to keep the, with the, the beauty of the blade is the fact we've got the blade itself and having a short sword, meaning 24 inches, this is a range weapon. We want to keep this in the outside. But there are going to be times whenever the range will close. We're not forcing the close. Circumstances force the close. And we're going to discuss uh, how to bring this into play when we start losing the effectiveness of having a, a blade of this length. So again, the, this happens, you don't choose this. You don't want to be running down the line. If you got all this uh, 24 inches of steel here, why would you want to run in for this but whenever it does close there's a lot of good use to be made for this do you like free stuff of course you do have you ever wanted to own a sword good because we're giving away one of our trs guardian swords this bad boy is the real deal yeah it's pretty enough to be a wall hanger but it's not just for show it's a real sword designed with your protection in mind just leave a comment below in the first 24 hours this video is live and you'll be entered to win this awesome piece of weaponry Good luck. The winner will be announced in an upcoming video. Let's add to our angles with another uh, aspect of it. So far, we've assumed that we've, we've got a, a short sword, even though when you think, of, or a long bowie knife, like I said, 24 inches here. Um, if the range becomes tight in the midst, if the, say, the rush continues on, let's say our initial uh, defensive lash hack uh, it didn't work out, or sometimes you know things do close and we're in and we become in tight let's not assume that this uh is null and void at that time we're going to move off to pommel work meaning we're going to work off the the end of uh, our sword i'm going to bring dan can I have you come in please uh, dan marks here uh, let me shake that hand dan thank you very much dan's helping me out on this uh Again, thanks for shaving and looking good as you came in. Uh, we're going to go off and use this uh, little uh, soft baton as a, as, a, uh, as a standard for this. Go ahead and uh, helm it up for me, please. So the exact same angles that we've been running with everything, we, uh, with, with our short sword, if we run off to pommel work, we've got the exact same angles as well. So if I'm doing this diagonal and down, that's my one, here's my two, and here's my three, and here's my four. There's no five anymore, just because like we're not thrusting in this, so this is in tight. Now obviously the merits of a blade are the blade, so it's not like we would ever opt for uh, using the pommel work over the blade. It's not like you go, hmm, which one will it be? Well, this you know whenever they close in tight, it's not feasible to go back on the blade uh, position. But how you're going to want to work those angles with the, uh, with the pommel is you're going to uh, Optimally, you're going to work where you have a combination of where you've tried the slash hack work, it closed in, and the pommel comes a little bit more to the fore. Dan, let me borrow you here. We're going to make this artificial momentarily. So I've got my attack. We're not even putting a fake blade in his hand or anything like that. Let's say I've shot for my uh, number one and across. We'll take it off the side of the head. I'll be somewhat nice with it. And he was still moving on in on me this time, and it keeps it coming in tighter for me. But it's it's tight enough. It's clearly, I don't have, and I didn't have time to go, oh, back up a little bit, brother. And, you know, I hit him with this a little bit. So we're talking about... If we're still following our angles, you are not choosing when the pommel work happens. They choose when the pommel work happens. So super slow-mo, what I'm saying is, here's my, he starts one step towards me, there's my one. He continues his step, and here's my two. This comes back over the top. That's still gonna leave a mark, isn't it? <laughs> so we'll try and be kind with it. So we're seeing it wasn't me going, stop, stay there. So here's my one, and now I decided this is what I want. Optimally, I would just think, you know, this this motion here, we just beat the shit out of that already. It, uh, we're, ultimately, I want to stay on the outside and use the, the capabilities of the blade. But here, it's not going to be a static sort of thing. We're assuming a real assault's going on. If two people are just squaring up and having this sort of same distance between them, these people are dueling, uh, something closer to choreography. Real melees are going to be nice and tight and nasty and broiled and, and, and bloodiness. So again, as Dan is entering, I'm looking for that one, and he continues on entering, that pommel's right on top of it, and hopefully I regain my distance to go back to the capabilities, the strengths of, of what this weapon is. Now, as you drill them, we want to have you think about, he enters and I'm giving him off of that one, and I'll back to the two. Or I can, I can give him the one, and I'm back into the uh, one with the, uh, of the pommel side. We know we've got that three, that we can pommel here. We're back here using this version of the pommel, as well as we're moving in. The thing is, you're not really making the decision or the choice. It's the, the dent of distance and the range that decides where this comes out, but at the same time, you need to train them up. With that in mind, how we want to train the sword, the short sword is primarily, you're going to be doing a lot of air drills. It's going to be uh, also nice if you can make some contact with something. And rather than beating the, the hell out of 
uh, that gorgeous uh, uh, piece of cutlery all the time is you can grab yourself a mock-up. You just get a standard dowel rod or a stick the same length. And again, don't beat up a heavy bag. You go out and find a tree and get used to where you're getting used to your draw cuts, actually making some sort of contact with things. And then also change and cheat your distances in and out and get used to using the end of the stick, the butt of the stick, to stand as your pommel, getting used to striking with both ends of it. And again, the pommel is just the backup. It's an adjunct to what you got. The blade is always what you really, really want. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.